The death penalty, a jury made that recommendation in the penalty phase against James Colley Jr. this afternoon. Last week, he was found guilty of first degree murder in the killings of his estranged wife, Amanda Colley, and her best friend, Lindy Dobbins. That was in 2015. First Coast news reporter and attorney, Julia Janae, is live with the details tonight. Julia? Sorry, it took this jury nearly three hours to come to this decision that both sides acknowledge is a very solemn and difficult one for any group of people inside the courtroom. Less than an hour ago, the judge did read that jury's recommendation of the death penalty in James Terry Colley Jr's case for killing both his estranged wife, Amanda Colley, and her best friend, Lindy Dobbins. Now, from where we were sitting, Colley did not have any visible reaction to hearing uh, those words from the judge. We also watched his family. They looked straight ahead and waited until after uh, everyone had left the courtroom to tell him that they loved him. Now, the family of, uh, of Amanda Colley and Lindy Dobbins, they exited the courtroom, told us they did not want to speak to media, but the state attorney, Jennifer Dutton, the assistant state attorney, Jennifer Dutton, told us that they are satisfied with this outcome. Um, it's very bittersweet. Um, this is not an easy process that the jury has to go through, but we are um, very happy that they um, considered the case the same way we did and that it brings some sort of justice and closure for Amanda and Lindy. What's the most challenging part of deciding this is going to be a death penalty? Now, this is not the end. This is not, uh, there is more that is coming in this case because it does have to be uh, confirmed by a judge in a Spencer hearing that is happening on October 2nd at 9 a.m. We'll, of course, be there as well. But coming up at 6, we'll have a legal defense attorney, criminal defense attorney, rather, Mac McLeod from this area who's going to weigh in on this case. But for now, reporting live from St. John's County, Julia Janae, First Coast News on your side.